Hi guys, this is App Unwrapper. I'm back with The House of Da Vinci 2. And in this video, I'm going to take you through the last chapter, chapter 6. Enjoy! All right, so we've got a rope above us. Let's look around. Come over here and turn this. Got a metal rod. Now, if you come over here, you can see some scratches. This moves out, but there's nothing there. So let's go back to the past and look for it. might need two hands for this. Like if you do this, it slides back. So keep it open. Uh, hello. There we go. A little weird there. I don't know why it wasn't working, but all right. Now open it up, attach it. Okay, look up here. And now, let's pull it back. All right, so as he explained, it's a room of mirrors. So let's head down here first and grab this. Now head up here. See, I don't like the mirrors. The, no, the, the camera on this level, it, I wasn't trying to turn. I just wanted to get this, but it turned me automatically. Uh, sirens again. I'm sorry. Okay, so now... Oh, really sorry about that. Um, okay, now... We're gonna open these clamps here. Let's go down here. Okay, just insert this lever and leave it for now. Don't touch it, okay? Yeah, the camera's a little annoying. I don't know why it does that, but look at these holes. You see these holes? And now you have similar setup here, right? So you want it to match. So it's gonna look like this. Okay, that should be right. Now pull this, and you're 
gonna use two hands. Pull them apart. Okay, come over here. Use your Oculus to look at this. I wanna pull these out. Really not that difficult. And then, now we have a wheel, okay? Let's go back to the other end of the room. God, I really hit the camera. I don't know why it's so bad here, but... Turn this, oh, come on. Take that. Catch it. Screw it on. Oops. All right, so here we are. We have two beams of light. One side has a lens focusing it at a mirror, the other does not. So let's focus on this side first, okay? Let's follow the beam. It comes over here. Oops. You see it's coming here. So move this to the right. It'll rotate it and move it. Now it's reflecting the light over there, okay? Let's head over there. Yeah, this camera is making me a little dizzy. So we have a map of sorts of the room and it's showing you the order you have to shine the beams so f we just did one, then we have to do two, three, and four, okay? While here though, zoom in on this, pull that. Now we have the other lines, okay? So next, head back to the big mirror. Or light? What is this? I have no idea what this is. I guess it's a la light, but it looks pretty dim for a light. So, and the mirror—it looks like the mirror. So I don't know. All right. So now we have to point the light at two, so it's up the hall. If you remember where we just were, we were on the other side. See, it's still lit up. So we have to light up this wall here, okay? So let's go back to, where is, lever. So we want it to look like this. We're gonna pull it to the right again. There's a beam of light. We're gonna reflect it. And now we're gonna go over here. And See, it's pointing at this. Point it that way. Now it's pointing over there. And last. There we go. Let's head over there. All right, just unscrew these. All 
All right, so we have a puzzle here. Now, we have to move each of these. Out of the way. It's not right. Um, first, let's move this. No, hold on a second. I need that. All right, I know how to do this. I did it before. Ah, there we go. Hold on. This needs to go up there. Okay. And now we should be able to do it. There we go. Okay, now we have a steering wheel. Go to the other end. Alright, so now we have to do the third the third spot. Okay. So it's on the opposite wall. So while we're here, we're gonna set this like this. All the way to the other side. Like that, okay? I think that's how it looks. Um, I seem to have missed one of the... to the left. Do that. I did not ask you to turn for me. Why are you stopping here? Didn't it light? Or did it light up? Oh my lord. The camera needs, needs some work. Alright, move that up. And this to the left. Alright, open this in your bag. A little tricky, but you need to move these around to the right spots. So, let's move this. All right.
Uh, come on. Alright, here we go. One. Nope. Okay, what did we do? Um Two. All right. Oh my god, it took me a lot longer than it did before, but there we go. Let's head down here. Even harder puzzle now. Okay. This is more difficult. Um, it's like Rubik's Cube, but with one side. So there we've got one, two... Nothing here. So let's turn this. Need to find those other two arrows. There's one. Um, so let's turn this this way. to move this okay there we go now we have one left where is it Ah, there it is. Okay, so it's on the other side here. Um, where'd it go? Now it's on the same side. Ah. it.
what did I do? Oh my god, where did it go? Oh my god. I can't believe how much this, how long this is taking me. Back to the same spot. Um, oh, I just need to do that. Okay. Oh, I'm so silly, guys. It's like that. No. Like that. Oh, no! No, no, no! No, where'd it go? No! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I just lost everything now. I was like, it's all gone. Why do I keep losing it? Oh my god. One. I can't. Here we go. Oh my god, that was really way too long. I'm sorry. Whatever. I'm not starting over. I'm sorry. I feel like I should, but I really don't want to. Alright. Uh, last, we need both beams shining at this guy here. Okay. 
So let's go, where is that? Lever first. So you want it to look like this. Then let's go up and deal with these. Wait, no, that's the right position. You just want it over this way, okay? Like that. Now this one. You want that? Okay, what? There we go. Okay, let's head out of here. Here, grab the weight and now we're gonna go into I'm gonna use the Oculus again. future past where are we I don't know anymore Come over here all right so just need to match up the symbols okay it goes like this So we've got a few different doors. Okay, let's focus on this one first. We need to get the four corners around the door. There we've got one, okay. Now get that up there. Get that in there. Um Okay. Now, 
come over here, insert the short key, and turn it. All right, now, um, turn this wheel. these apart turn the big wheel again and now you can grab this okay now come over here and use your oculus you need to move these bars so this can lift up, okay? Just like that. Now it fell down. So come over here, move that to the right that controls these two doors, and now turn this, and now you can get that. All right, this next puzzle is tricky. So let's head down. So bear with me here. It is a tricky one. Um, need to figure out. It's not that. Uh, gonna go like this no no why does it look different oh no never mind we're good okay that's one side now we just have to match the other side um There we go. Yay. So I have a screenshot on my website if you had trouble following that. Okay, turn that. Now we have a key. Okay, my cat thinks it's time for a second breakfast. I don't know why. All right, turn around. Notice this blue line. There's one blue line, okay? Come over here, grab that. Notice two yellow lines and three green lines, okay? Remember those? One blue, two yellow, three green. Come over here. Use your oculus. And just line these up. Okay. 
Almost done, actually. So it was blue, yellow, green. Remember? Alright, this is a tricky puzzle. Bear with me. Another tricky one. So, use the wheel. Almost. I think this should work. There we go. There's a few different ways to do this. I've done it other ways, but that's one way. Got it, but he saw us. Hmm. Alright, so come over here, come down here, notice this looks different, right? There's little scratches, turn, and now prepare yourself for the longest, most poorly voice acted and boring cutscene in forever. Let's, but here we go, enjoy. In the year 1212, since the birth of Christ, Friedrich, the only son of Heinrich Stauffer, to his father's glorious throne arose. By providence chosen, though only 16 years old, clever and strong, he was a king most bold. Challenges were plentiful, but his judgments full of wisdom. Soon many, a bustle, Duke or Lord swore fealty to his kingdom. Monarch Roger, a patron to the erudite and all the wise men, every scholar, no matter the faith, was welcomed to his realm. 
His deeds were glorious. His subjects loved him more and more. His dominion prospered like never before. Soon the rumors were spread from the east to the west about Roger, the ruler of Christians, by God himself blessed. This praise reached Pope Gregory, but he froze, irked by hearing of another man as one God chose. Gregory's envy would lead to consequences most dire. No living soul could save Friedrich from his ire. With excommunication being his only other fate, Roger rode to Palestine on a crusade to save his state. Even with his most trusted knights, a dangerous proposition. Journey long, perilous and exhausting, a truly risky mission. And many a good man dead due to illness or fatigue. That was the true terror of the Pope's intrigue. One day a desert storm came, raged and refused to wane, threatening to end both their lives and the campaign. It seemed that for the Emperor's army all hope was lost. Sentries were ordered to find shelter, no matter the cost. At the last moment the group's scouts spotted a cave, Though ominous and sinister, they must choose to be brave. Roger's men entered the grotto with an easy feel, making camp in surroundings that were most unreal. Days went by, the storm unwavering, no sign it would clear. Friedrich and his chosen explored their shelter without fear. Delving deeper into their shelter, anything but small. Dark passages lined by pillars receded to a large hall. Friedrich and his company were men loyal and seasoned. But in their hearts was dread which could not be reasoned. Architecture meant not for living men, vast and bold. Perhaps chiseled by some mysterious giants of old. Distracted from his reverie by a glimmer of light, Roger saw a part of metal buried in the sand upright. A machine, a gate, centuries old, with it he must return. What trove of lost knowledge from it could he learn? Friedrich, albeit short on time, researched that device. Its power to grant wisdom should more than suffice. Gate to the Temple of Wisdom, the device was now called. It would lead to understanding of deep truths unequaled. In much higher spirits, knights loaded the gate on the caravan, and once again their journey, their crusade has begun. The dread lifted, resolved firmer than ever before, no longer fearful of what for them lay in store. No more was the journey punishment meant by the Pope. Now their quest was meaningful, their hearts full of hope. In the end, Rog regained control of Jerusalem without blood spilled, opened the Holy Land to pilgrims again, defensive walls rebuilt. City's crown rested on Emperor's noble head. With wise Sultan al Kamil, he shared his bread. People sang only praise for their Emperor once again. With glory and magnificence, he continued his reign. Through the gate to the Temple of Wisdom, Friedrich often went. To learn its secrets, to further knowledge, was his lustrous intent. He worked closely with those most loyal, those he chose. Thus a new order of knights noble, order of justice arose. Emperor Friedrich, always at their point, titled Grandmaster, felt he did enough to save Pope's anger, averted disaster. But to Gregory's ears, 
where he whispered rumors terrible, stories about the deal with the devil and lies unbearable, about how Roger's order was built to conceal a devil's gift. And since the Pope believed it, it caused an irreparable rift. Not long before the Emperor was excommunicated, by all the people of faith, he was to be isolated. Residents of Jerusalem, who just a year ago called him their savior, now cast him out, the Pope to blame for this behavior. The Emperor by this iniquity was a back taken. All the Pope's intrigues left him quite shaken. When he finally retreated to Italy and his throne, he lived for his order of justice and his land alone. Roger guarded the secrets of the order for his enemies would not cease. Wanted the gate more than secure, no longer believing in peace. Plan born both from his genial mind and godly inspiration. To build a fortress for the order to be held in awe by the whole nation. To the castle's construction he devoted his life. Eight massive walls to survive any strife. Eight watchtowers with windows peering over the countryside. Eternally guarded by eight men, most loyal and eagle-eyed. Eight sides to the courtyard for the men to meet and rest. In the middle of it all, an eight-sided podium protected best. On this podium, the gate to the Temple of Wisdom was erected. By all the knights, not to be worshipped, but to be respected. So it was created, for both the lost and the wise it did shine. Templum Justitiae, the Temple of Justice, the castle, the shrine. It was quarters of the order by the wise Placentinus foretold. Inside were troves of wisdom and power more precious than gold. Even for the wise and powerful flies the time. Men became old, children rose to their prime. After the death of Roger, Grandmaster first, others came best of the order in wisdom burst. One after another silent, hidden but each of virtue measure, the gate to the temple of wisdom, always their treasure. Generation after generation, the secret was keeping, wealth and wisdom gaining, never relenting, never sleeping. But the year 1465 after Christ came. And for the order of justice, the world was never the same. go that is the house of da vinci 2 i assume there's going to be a third that was 
an opening for another game. I have absolutely no idea what was with that. I, I don't know what that was. That story was both poorly written, way too long, and awful voice acting. I totally zoned out. I didn't even hear it uh, or read it. I just was not paying attention. Uh, I don't know why they did that. The rest of the game was pretty solid. I don't know why they would put that in there, but um, there you go. That's The House of Da Vinci 2. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Bye-bye.